Speaking of dampness, I want to talk about Sha Ren a moment. Sha Ren a moment is like, huh? What? That's not what the herb is like. It's what the herb is really about is the state that a person can get into when it's really, really muggy and your brain just kind of stops. You're, you, every, it's like every, all of those grooves in your mind have grown a lot of mold on them. And all of your thought processes are just, nobody feels quick witted and brilliant when they're muzzy minded and damp brained. It's just like, yeah, it's, it's not even literal, like it's not, it's externally, it's not a fog. It's just deep, deep, deep humidity. And absolutely nothing achieves crispness, nothing. <laughs> this is what Sharan Amom is for. It's like damp red. When we lived in Florida, we were like, I don't need damp red. It's this thing you stick in your closet, basically, so that your clothes don't mold, so that your leather shoes and belts don't turn this hideous shade of blue and get eaten away. We're like, we don't need, we, we need damp red. And Sharon Amomum is kind of the inner damp red. It quickens. It's like, it's like, it's like, it's like when you're like, and somebody walks by with incredible perfume and you're like, oh, it's the, that, it's the fragrance that cuts through muzziness and awakens the mind again. to like a thing, that quality of quickening, it's, very good for the kind of nausea that's just like bleh, where you can't really quite recognize your food as food because it's just this kind of slosh in there. And it takes this peaking, this like this little bit of the fragrance of, oh, that's what this is. It's like, oh, the you know how sometimes a really good, you, you don't think you're hungry but then something that smells so good, you catch a scent of it and suddenly you're like, growl. That's the kind of fragrance of Shah Ren a moment when everything is just like, Bleh. I'm not interested. Interest being the appetite of the mind. I was like, not interested. The, 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 the quickening, the fragrance. It's a very wonderful morning sickness herb also for those early days because dampness and a fetus are on a kind of continuum. It's like damp, phlegm, fetus. And so when there's this little one in there at the beginning, it's kind of not quite a little one, you know? It's just this kind of stuff. It, it's just, it's just it's just parts assembling and not even yet really parts. It's more like just this cloudy, mucusy thing that's not, and, and, and the Sharon moment helps with like, it's a baby. It's something, it's like the spleen's capacity for transformation has to start with this notion this kind of, hmm, oh, look, a fragrance of something. And like, I could take this and turn it into a muscle in my left bicep. Cause it's just starting out as, you know, pancakes, syrup and spit sitting there doing nothing. So that inspiration of the, of the, of fragrance, Oh, the ye, the sound of that, of the spleen. Oh, yes, yes, good. So it helps with wilted, boggy, nauseous digestion. And it also helps with 
wilted, boggy, nauseous life. I wonder if Jean-Paul Sartre had this, whether he would have written La Nose or whether he would have said, there is so much in life that I could be nourished by. It's fascinating. I take an interest. I have mental appetite. I'd, I'd like a bite of that and a bite of that and a bite of that. No way to find out except to experiment on yourself. <laughs>